Let's just open it. Oh, these are old yearbooks. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? No Versace yet. Ooh, oh, 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 the presses, yo. Sorry, sorry, not funny. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this 10x10 locker at a live auction. I paid $850, but I had a hunch on this one that maybe the prior owner had some money and maybe she was a collector. So far, I haven't found too many valuable items, but there's been a few nice finds here and there. But it won't take much to make me happy. Say, a jewelry box, perhaps? Let's keep digging and hope the treasures turn up soon. Got some weight to it. it. Must have a lot of clues in there. Whew. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> Thing's huge. Okay. Now what do we got? Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's on rollers. A little hamper. Organizer. I thought I said bed bug steamer. I'm like, wait, what? what is this? Right. Door hardware, it's cool. Oh, from Marvin Brass? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a few bucks. Alright. Ah, it's light, guys. Really light. Now let's just open it. Yeah, it's empty. Ooh, there's a spider farm under there. What the heck? I'm getting that next time. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the trailer. <laughs> I'm not touching that. Hmm. This one's taped up. What do we have here? Lutron is lighting. Sony, kind of electronic splitter, AV selector, that's old school. Ooh, those are really good. Cord bundlers. I like that. What's this thing? Oh, these are a bunch of containers. Organizers. Nightlight. And a remote for Sony. Some really fat painter's tape. Uh, books. <laughs> well, well, well. Wedding dress. Let's see. Is this wedding number one? Nah. It's not a wedding dress, just well. Is it though? If that is, that's no. That can't be a wedding dress. Come on, that's a, something else. Message. I was gonna say, well, it looks like we got wedding number one and wedding number two dress. What is this? It's some kind of a toolbox. Brass hardware, it says. I've never seen a toolbox like that before. It's definitely different. Now, let me think. I got limited time here. And I'm looking around. I know what Mike from Storage Auction Pirate would do. He would just use his spidey senses and find where is the jewelry box. And he'd go right for it. He'd be like, okay, where are they hiding the good stuff? I don't know how to do that though. Real to real music, that is definitely got me interested. Yep, that's what it is. Couple of them there. Hotel, how cool. Johnny Cash, that is neat. Very cool. Oh, I like this. That stretch. I use this stuff sometimes when we're packing up our auction sales. They definitely spent some time up in the snow. That's for sure. Snow chains. Wow. 
Hmm. That's cool. It is what it says, electric car polisher. Old school. Oh, this is light. Uh -huh. It's stinking bubble wrap. Well, as much as I use bubble wrap, and that is something I purchased, I'm not super happy about finding it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to pay 850 bucks for bubble wrap. Oh, this one's light too up here. There's a cushion. Headwear. That's actually a really nice hat. Lifeguard hat. That's a nice one. Ooh, don't forget that. Oh, that's cool. So look back here. We can start to see back here a little bit. See another old suitcase there. This right here says Mother's Needlepoint. That's interesting. More boxes back here. This corner looks like it's all boxes. That's good because this is this sucks right here. Um, and I don't know what these are yet. They might be matching cabinets to this. This is very heavy. Okay, what do we got here? Oh man, styrofoam for something. Just packaging. Poop. That sucks. How are we doing on time here? Oof. Uh, I gotta get going. I'm taking too long. Before I forget and go. Let's see. Oh. Sucketh. I was hoping these would be full of stuff. Dang. I bet you these are empty too. That really sucks. All right, back to this. There's dirt in here. Why is there dirt in the fine china? Their best china. Gibson. It's good stuff. It's all right. Whatever. And there's some old yearbooks. Water damaged. Oh, these are old yearbooks. 65 right here. Wow, 1965. That's cool. All right, guys. Well, you know what? I think, I think we're gonna have to call this one a wrap. And we're gonna have to boogie out of here, or else I'm gonna run out of time and get stuck. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Push this couple things back in. I'm gonna have to close it up, and I'm gonna have to hit it. I got a lot of work to do today, anyways. But I'll be back tomorrow with my trailer. And we'll probably take a load to the dump to begin and try to get this thing lightened quick. And hopefully we find some good stuff in here. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh man, literally I come outside, it feels like dusk. It actually is cool in here. It's really hot in the building. It's a, it's a metal building and I think it's retaining the heat. So sweating like crazy up there. It's third floor, but you come out here. It feels like dusk, and it's not. It's it's not even a. What time is it? Not even one o'clock. And the phones do a great job of adjusting color, so it looks like it's a blue sky. This is like a a pale red. It's very eerie, very strange. But now I got to load this right here. All right, there's the load. I'm over at my unit now. There's the load that I took home. Not too bad pretty good pretty good load it looks like it made a dent in it anyways well i'm not going to open that but that's pretty full too this thing's about ready to fall out right there all right all right let's just, i got this off the truck let's start with this right here i don't i think it's looking orange in the picture i mean i don't know how it's going to come out for you guys but it looks orange it looks like we're on mars it is weird also not this side but this side was completely covered in ash just from the drive home um because this is like a, you know, fabric's got a, kind of a rough surface. It's the the um, ash sticks to it and gets stuck, so it wasn't blowing off quite as easily. Very strange. These wildfires, are weird. <laughs> so weird. So weird. Okay. Um, yeah. A couple blank or like a bedspread. Mattress cover and a bedspread, old funky, 
Old funky. Not old cool. Old funky. Well, oh man. What's this? Big old nothing. Hmm. It's an ottoman on wheels. I don't think that's leather. I think it's pleather. Got a messed up corner right there. This is going to the dump. It's just not, that doesn't do it for me. Some more clothes. We'll take a close look at these. Hmm. Ski clothes. Evan Picone Petites. Is that good? I don't know. It's not Versace. <laughs> I'm a little spoiled. And Taylor. That's nice. Okay. And Casper for ASL. American Sign Language? <laughs> I don't think so. Timber Clothing Company. Arctic Equipment. It's pretty cool. Timber. Timber. Ooh. Got a rock in there. Uh, and we got this pot right here. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? It's got goldfish inside. See that? Huh. That's neat. Okay, that's taped up. Okay. All right. This hanger, this wardrobe is pretty cool. Let's see what's in the taped up box. Huh. Food saver. Instructional video and food saver bags. It's pretty good. Some kind of a jug. More food saver bags. Food saver bags sell pretty good. They sell pretty good. I don't know what that is. Some spices or something. This almost looks like one of those Nutribullet things. I've got one of those right now. Caraway seed. Okay. Solstice micro shed. So I have to look that up. These feel decent. I think they're probably snowboarding pants. From the feel of them. That's some 80s colors right there. Oh, that's a full on snow outfit. How cool. I'm not sure if the lighter areas here is faded. Ah, it looks faded. I was see if that's tie dye. That'd be pretty sweet. Mm, big faded spot right here. Viva Prima, Viva Prima. That's what it says. It's pretty cool though. Let's see that's faded. There's another one. Skiing passports. Made in Hong Kong. I mm, like their stuff made in Hong Kong. Now look at this. Definitely vintage. It's got an 80s look to it. A little dusty, but like the zipper, everything feels quality. You got it quilted inside here. This is actually a pretty nice piece. Made in Hong Kong. Carlisle. Right there. Okay, 100% silk. That's vintage. If we have some vintage clothes, that'd be all right with me. We'll get our money out if we do. And there's another ski jacket. Uh -oh. Spots on there. Wow. This definitely has got an 80s flavor to it too. This piece. Oh, look at this. It's got the ski passport. This one also. Women's small. It's all one piece right there sewn right here that's pretty sweet actually it's pretty sweet you guys look at that that's nice it's quality stuff and what do we got here marker small vintage this is nice too they're nice quality all right this is this stuff would be actually pretty hot at the uh vintage flea market if it ever opens again come on open it open open Okay, let's dig into the Solomon bag. All right, now right here, oh man, it's got a big stain right there. Bummer, it's got shoulder pads. Definitely feels vintage. Tyrola, tri, Tyrolia by head. High Sierra, extra large. Another stain, geez. We had a little eating problem. Concepts, I don't think any of this is like especially high end. This one's made in China. A lot of this stuff is made in the U.S., which is good. August silk. 70% silk, 30% cotton. That's kind of nice. 
vintage. I don't know about the style, but got here another tag. Uh, this could also have been from a thrift store, actually. So it could not be new. It could be from a thrift store. That could very well be this one. Designers original. Made in the USA, though. Made in the USA. That definitely dates it. Not many clothes are made in the USA anymore, although there are some. Dockers. Okay. This feels like winter gear again. Rofe, R-O-F-F-E. Oh, look at that. I think these are snowboarder pants. They're pretty thrash though, you know? Look at this, got a chip off the edge of that. This is all coming in sewn here. These have been used and abused. They definitely feel like they were quality though. These ones right here especially feel quality. I see a B, this is Burton or something. Boner, B O. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not funny. B O G N E R, B O G N E R, Bogner probably. <laughs> Good lord, I need to mature. B O G N E R, Bogner is his name. Oh, I think that's actually feels pretty good too. It feels like a uh, quality. I do apologize to everyone out there who's deeply offended by my immature itty. American Bazaar International, made in China. It's got some shoulder pads that probably dates it. All right, that's a little different, different, different. Oh, ooh, this is cool. Oh man, that's 80s. Or maybe 90s. Look at that. Overmeyer. This looks a little nice. Look at this. Where is this made? Ladies, just in case you were curious. To clear that up for us. The size 12. Made in China. Overmeyer. Huh. Ski jacket. That's actually pretty fresh right there. And by fresh, I mean like fresh Prince of Bel Air fresh. A little dirty. It's cool. Got some vintage pieces here. No Versace yet. Canyon Ridge. This one's made by Head Skiwear. Made in Hong Kong. That might be a little better. See that? Made in Hong Kong. This is nice. You can definitely feel the quality on this piece right here. Nice. I hope there's some money in this vintage skiwear. Even if the lady spilled her ice cream down her shirt every time she wore something. This one's filthy. Big chill in Bangladesh. Fits good, just needs a longer elastic at the waist. Okay, that sounds like a personal problem. Oh man, oh man. I don't know. This one's dead. Whoa, oh. Oh, the presses, yo. Yeah, oh. Look at this. Look at this. What the heck? That is something else right here. What is this? Oh. Uh, Bogner. This is, this is, this is like microfiber right here. Look at the accents. These little custom buttons with the B on it. But with the Native American embroidery right here, it's all embroidery work. This needs to be cleaned right here. Dang, this is actually really nice. Made in the USA. Everything feels nice. The elastic right here is still real stretchy. Look at the zippers with the B on it. This is some quality stuff right here. Oh man, I should mess that up though. Huh. I wonder if you can throw this in the washing machine i don't know that's pretty sweet though is this getting on the camera my goodness this yeah it is yeah it is Get the fringe that is amazing oh whoa look at the back you can see the back how cool is that my goodness that's pretty look at all this embroidery this is all embroidered right here with the like a another fabric right here I almost feels actually it feels suede. No, I think it's like a microfiber. Well, maybe it is suede. 
What is this? Let me find out more information on this. This is actually really cool. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay. Bogner shell. Ultra suede. A uh, synthetic fabric. Okay. Almost identical to genuine suede. It offers a luxurious look and feel. Yeah, it's called microfiber today. Oh, right here. Polyester microfiber. Okay. Dry clean only. There you have it. Pretty, pretty dope. That is different. Mm -mm -mm. That's pretty. All right, that was good. That, was, that makes me happy. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this one. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm not super, super happy right now with how this one is turning out. It's not bad. It's got some vintage. Okay, my bead on it was right. Okay, elder, elderly lady. Uh, definitely, I think my bead was right. Had some disposable income because a lot of time in the snow. Lots of snow clothes. Lots and lots of snow clothes. Um, that's good, but I haven't really found that much good stuff. The Harley Davidsons, that's going to be worth some money. That leather jacket. The boots, that's a good find. Um, some of the vintage clothes maybe has potential like that ski outfit's wild. I've never seen anything like that. I'm hopeful that that's going to be worth something. But I, have, I don't have any experience with vintage snow wear, uh, ski wear, you know, ski clothes. Man, okay, well, we're going to have a lot to go in the dump. I'm going to donate a little bit just to lighten the load. And then the rest of it goes either home to go in our live auctions or back in the, my locker. Uh, and by the way, live auctions every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. That's where you can purchase some of the better stuff that you see coming out of the out of the lockers here when I buy. I've been on quite a streak. We've had some great items. I was hoping today I was going to have some more. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's hard to keep up that pace. I mean, we've been finding amazing designer stuff, crazy. This one, I felt like the lady probably had some money, but I'm not really seeing the high-end brands. It, maybe she just didn't spend it on that stuff. I don't know. Or maybe we're gonna find it the deeper we go. I wanna find the jewelry box. That's 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 That could turn this whole thing around. So let's just hope we find some jewelry or some designer clothes, or who knows what, you know? Who knows what? Tomorrow's a new day. I'm going back with the trailer. We're going to make a big dent in that thing, but only from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Short COVID hours, kind of crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm going to get there early to maximize my day tomorrow. And uh, I'll have another video coming out soon, okay? But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Hopefully more silver, but... Still, I think it's probably silver plate. That last stuff is silver plate, I think. I'm not sure about this though. Something Sterling Company. This feels like this could be solid right here.